What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I make this the star. And that this is my 2020 style the start because to be honest each year I change something so um, this one is if you if you watch my previous videos you will see this one is different so what's different is that this is shorter than my other the stars and I think that's really good because my my head feels really light and uh, yeah it's really comfortable and at the same time I think it's it's match my the size of my face so I think it's really nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into the details of the turban. So this the stud is exactly four meters and it's like the full width that you get from the store. So I haven't done anything to the width, but the length is four meters. So uh, if you want exactly like this, you need to follow the details. Um, otherwise it won't end up like this. I'm not an 100% sure of the material so uh, I will ask my mom actually and I will put it down right here so you guys will know um, so yeah and underneath I have a case key which is uh, a really small case key the width is half of a normal distal and the length is 1 meter and 20 centimeters yes then I measure it so it's exactly that um, so the only thing that you guys need to adjust is actually this the size of your jura so if you have a big jura um, you have to work around that and if you have a smaller jura than mine i will show you a trick you can do to make it a little bit bigger and uh, maybe you just start save your hair or i don't know maybe you just have uh, shorter hair than i have so you will have a smaller jura than i will have um, so make sure you watch this whole video because in the end of the video i will have a giveaway so uh, yeah check that out um, so let's get started with uh, the base. Alright you guys, so the base is actually really important because um, the more it looks like mine, the more the bug will look like mine. So make sure the base is just like mine, okay? So what you want to do in the beginning is that don't twist your hair too much. Uh, some people are like really twisting and making it hard. I just do it like once or maybe twice like this. You can see it's, it's really loose. From there, make your jura, however you do. Uh, that's not that important, but what's important is the outcome, so how it looks. As you guys can see, mine is quite flat and loose, so there's no tight hair or anything. I don't like having it tight because you really feel your hair like pulling up all day, so just make it loose. Now, if your jura is really small or smaller than mine, what you can do is you have a small piece of fabric like I have right here and what you do is you put it on the top of your jura and then you go, go around your jura like this and depending on how small your jura is uh, you can adjust the fabric accordingly so get to the size of my jura um, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna use this one I sometimes I use it when I uh, go to the gym the jura is, gets really tight and your pug doesn't get loose so it's a tip for you guys but for my pug I only have it loose and yeah in the top of my head and if your jura is big what you can do is make your jura even looser so like get it bigger by just pulling it out and then just get it around your head like that okay okay then if you have a kanga just put it back here Okay, the next part is the case key and like I told you it's 1 meter and 20 centimeters and the width is half of a normal distal. Okay, and I have another video for just my case key so uh, I won't get into details, you can check that one out, I will leave the link below. Uh, so let's get started, what you do is just put your finger here and your thumb on the other side like that and just fold it once and you're good to go and from here you put it behind your head and from this you you take the short side and and put it on your forehead and really press with your fingers and with longer side you go over your hand and then let it go and you're halfway done already with your case key and from this part what you want to do is all the 
the fabric there's that's um, here from the other lard just put it in front of your head and then go around with the last lard and from here just pull it inside wherever you want doesn't really matter how it looks the only thing that matters is the form of the, the of the gizki okay as you guys can see it's quite flat on the top uh, and really and the shape is the same from side to side if you go inwards somewhere or outwards uh, your the star will be outwards or inwards as well um, so simple as that guys and really practice on this if your case is too loose your the star will be loose so as i said the base is one of the most important thing uh, to get a nice looking the star off to the final step which is the biggest step and that is the bug uh, so like I said again four meters and the width is normal width and this is Really important that the folding is really nice um, So I get a lot of questions how I fold my my bug and to be honest It's really simple. So let's say that this is my bug and this is the full width What you want to do is just you go from the sides to the side and just fold it like easy as that just fold it fold it again and fold it again until the width is the same as this one. So I would say this is like eight centimeters. Uh, yeah, eight centimeters. And then once you fold it, take an iron and iron it so it gets nice and doesn't get any wrinkles and you're good to go. For probably like one week or two weeks, nothing will happen to your bug, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's simple as that and uh, once you are done and you have your the style ready start with one corner and go around in the back of your head take the short part and put it in your mouth like that and you stop start from the top of your head and go down to the middle of your eyebrow so just like that and then cover your whole ear so this was the first lard and to be honest other one is pretty much the same so it's not hard you just need practice so from this part from the second lard you go up the same as you did with the, with the first one but you start a little bit lower as you guys can see you can see my first lard and you can see the second one starts a little bit down from it and what I have done different from my other pugs is that the the one that this second layer go crossing over the first layer is just in the middle of my forehead as you guys can see and this all the layer will be exactly the same they all will, will cross just right in the middle so I will cross here and then go a little bit above my first layer and I will basically do the, exactly the same as I just did. Start a little bit below my second lard. Watch the middle point and cross over. On to the next one. No, I want this one to be a little bit bigger. Just like that. On to my fourth doing the same thing watching the distance crossing in the middle all right on to the fifth one so now I'm starting to cover my ears a little bit lower right in the middle and up all right you guys already on the last lard and the only thing different here is that you're gonna put the rest of the fabric inside the previous lard okay so you do exactly the same cover your ear go in the middle there we go nice and tight and then put it all in your previous lard just like that and you guys this is it fix your mood chop with the nice details um, so yeah from here <clears throat> what you're gonna do this is your first lie right you're gonna pull it back okay just gently don't 
pull it too hard, just in the back, so. And from here, you're gonna find your first lar. So that's why it's important in the in the beginning that she's really focused on this. So as you guys can see, here's all my lars, and my first one is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that one, and what's gonna happen is that my first lar, which is here, will go up. So as you guys can see, that is going up, just like that. And don't pull it too much. It happens that it's, you pull it too much and you got it here and you're like, oh, so you need to start over. So just pull it gently and then from here, get it up here in the top. As you can see, here's my, my pug, nice and folded, but you don't want it to be folded at the top, so you want to unfold it. So open it up nicely and spread it all out. All right, and from here, once you've unfolded it, just pull on the first lug again, so it will go back down, and then start to tuck it in your first lugs. So on this one, in this side, it will be your first lug, and on this side, it will be your last lug. But either way, put it in nice and tight everywhere. <coughs> All right, and from here. Um, the last, the, what you can do is just pull the last, the first layer again, so it gets nice and tight, and then you want to tuck it in, um, in your, in your bug basically, what, whatever hole you have left here, just bring it up and tuck it in and hide it nicely, so no one will see where it went. All right, you guys. So this is it. This is how I do my pug daily, and it's I really like it. It's lightweight and it looks really nice. And uh, yeah, this is my 2020 style. So as I said in the end of this video, we will have a giveaway. Uh, so what you need to do to win a T-shirt like this, like who doesn't want a chocolate T-shirt? So nice. Okay, so what you need to be doing is to head over to the Chakti page on Instagram and you can follow the link in the description or you just type Chakti in the search um, area on Instagram. And then you will see on the latest post that we have a giveaway. What you have to do is tag three friends, like that photo, and uh, you have a chance to win a Chakti t-shirt. Simple as that. And if you want to be extra nice, just hit the subscribe button right here and like this video and share it with your friends so everyone can make this uh, beautiful looking uh, pack. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and um, thank you so much for watching you guys and um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video.